Hey YouTube, this is Ryan making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing, as it is very much appreciated. Um, latest striker, just got it in the mail today. It is the Moab Low Profile Pro Grade. Um, came with a really nice piece of flint. That's all. It, it, it came in a little um, bag, and I've decided I'm going to put this in. This is the kit I'm going to put it in. Got a bit of lamp wick there. So basically it's going to be the, that's how it's going to fit in there. I'm going to wrap the flint up in the, in some denim. I'm going to make a little slip, slip case out of leather for it to go into and that'll be basically it and I've got a um a pouch that I've made up for the for the rest of the sundries that I've added it's gonna like um for another pe another piece of flint and some punk wood and jute and some char cloth and whatnot but yeah, let's get some. Let let's get an ember with this new striker. I've been striking it on that flint, and it really it it goes off. It um sparks really well. Um, again, the the last couple of Moabs I've got have the buffalo horn handled one, and this one have been really good strikers. So I'm 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 not going to buy any more Moabs. Um. They are quite expensive. This one was seventy dollars, but half of it is in in um, shipping. So yeah, it's it it ends up being quite expensive. So yeah, but I've got the couple that I wanted to get, and that's all I'm going to get now as far as that. And I have really slowed up on buying strikers now. I've just about got all the ones I want and the few I've got coming from Beaver Bushcraft as soon as they turn up and that that's it oh um I, I won't be getting any more as I said that's a bashed up rock and got an ember no dramas as I said it sparks really well um yeah it's not a drama but um yeah I've I, th I think I counted the other day. I've got 32 strikers now, so I've, as I said, I've lost my mind with strikers, but I enjoy collecting them, and I enjoy the process of finding out how each one works. But once all this COVID carry-on slows down, I do definitely intend to go to my mate's place and start making a couple up and but that that's going to be down the track a bit and what I want to do is make um buy a um a couple of meters of bar stock of some ultra high carbon steel bars and make up several of them like because I've got a few blokes that want to want um, strikers. I will get buy a few um, old files as well. I'm, I'm I'm going to do it that way. But I I I, I think I might get some high carbon, like ultra high carbon steel, and go that way as well. That that that's my idea as well. So um, yeah. Um, I will go that way and make up a, a few. As I said, this one strikes really well. It's it's easy to use, and just in the pinch grip, I just put my finger down there to anchor it and pinch grip, and it's really thick. As a as I said, really thick strike face. So yeah, it's a it's a really nice. As I said, easy to get embers, but yeah up there have a look um really nice striker 
quite unusual. Um, that's why I bought it. And I only buy ones now that that pique my interest because they're unusual. They're, they're different to what I've got. So and this is exactly what I like. Thick, thick strike faces. Um, easy to use in the pinch grip. And I just hold it like that. Keeps your knuckles away from getting bashed. And they strike really. The Moabs that I've got, the couple I've got, I've got three of them, and um, this this one and the the dre uh, the the bone uh, the buffalo handle one strike exceptionally well. I did have a bit of a trouble with the uh, Celtic twist handled Celtic twist originally, but I've got it to work now, so I know how it works. So yeah, it, um, no dramas. But a as you see, I'm 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 getting this one to work really well. So. Yeah, it's, it's not a problem, even with these bashed up flints. And I'm, and I'm still waiting on, I've got seven flints coming, and I'm over a month now waiting on flints. But that's, they're coming, I'm coming from the Ukraine, so, um, and, and, and it's only because of the COVID. So, um, yeah, it's, it's real. I'm having a lot of dramas with with the postage, and I've got one coming from um, America, and it's been over a month sitting in America. And I contacted him the other day, and he said he had he can ha it can be up to two months in transit time. So yeah, that's that's not really good. And I've got a Drecky, and it's been 27 days in transit as well. So, um, yeah, it, it's just killing me with the, the transit times at the moment. So, yeah, I'm, um, that's, that, that's a lot of the t time. I, I, I just, that's why I'm buying so many. I, as far as it goes, I, I just, I, I struggle to wait for them because it takes so long in the mail. Whereas I can get ones from Beaver Bushcraft. They tend to be here within two weeks so yeah but I, I am slowing down with buying them now because basically I've I've got all the ones I want and the ones I've got now work so well and I'm learning how to use them so well now so um, I'm getting really good embers with them no dramas so yeah anyway as, as I said I showed you this this one's sparking really well I, was, I wanted to get it on camera and um, show you the little kid, oh, oh, the little kid I wanted to make up, and I've got another. I've been making up a lot of leather pouches that I've um, putting all all the other sundries in, and I, I will make another video later on of all the pouches that I've made up because I've made a heap of them up, and I, I hope you just wanted to see all the, all the different various pouches that I've I've made up for all these things and show you each all the different pouches I've made up for them. But anyway, thanks for watching.